hot girl status. B G E. Wait, did you want to see the back too? Yeah. They shake the ass. Why they didn't let bro finish his sentence? If she worked hard for it, she could show it off. I respect the hustle. Hey, take a picture of me and our bottles. Bring out your bottle. Lose the bottle. My bottle. Lose the bottle. <laughs> what do you want to do? Lose the bottle? Okay. You got me. <laughs> we don't call girls on Twitchy Girls anymore. They are now called I Ladies. I Ladies? I Ladies. That's a nice way to put it. I Ladies nuts on your face. But personally, my mom used to hit me whenever she, I'd post like just a bikini picture, like a normal bikini picture, nothing out. She used to like w I mom. get in so much trouble. So do you think that was? Do you look in, old now that you're older now? Do you think that was good or bad? Do you agree with your mom whooping your ass for that? No, because it, there was genuinely nothing inappropriate. Like if I was just walking on the beach in a bikini, there's nothing different than me posting it on Instagram. They weren't inappropriate pictures, and I wish that I would have had the freedom to like express myself and post what I wanted. Would you be, would you be okay with your daughter being a hoe? I would judge her, but I feel like I would raise her in a way where she respects herself and she has morals and she doesn't choose to be that way. But wouldn't it be fair to say that you have to put boundaries for them to actually be able to do that? Of course. But so would one of those boundaries. boundaries be like you're not posting pictures of yourself like that on the internet? Yes. Unpopular opinion, and I've said this before. If a woman holds resentment against her parents just because they were trying to be good parents, that's a huge red flag. If she isn't willing to listen to people who took care of her for 18 years, what makes you think she's going to listen to you? If Jesus can can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus? How do guys fumble a baddie? Not spending money. But you don't spend money, a baddie is definitely not sticking around. You gotta spend your bread. How much I gotta spend on you? First date? Yeah. Like 2000 Fuck out of it, she bugging. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. Keep it up, though. Dad, what's your sign? I don't want to identify with signs. I'm non-signary. Respect. Hit me on a scale from 1 to 10, but first, take a good look. I'm gonna say hard four. Damn! What? That's kinda low. What could be better? Well, your foundation doesn't match your neck, uh, you got fake tits, <laughs> and your eyes are kinda spread far apart. <laughs> yeah, boy. How do you know they're fake? Uh, just by the whole overall body size. That does not match up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I have a question. Okay. Do you want to go on a date and get naughty together? No, I'm good. You don't want to? Not at all? No, sorry. Okay. Do you want to go on a date and get naughty? No, I'll pass. Okay. What's the word, Captain? Well, that's because most men don't have rosters or backup plans, so they like to wait until their relationship is fully over before they start pursuing somebody else. I seen a statistic somewhere that said that 50% of women, including women in relationships and marriages, have a backup man in mind. It's an evil world we live in. Can I rate y'all? Yeah. Yeah. Be fucking careful what you say, sir. Why? Because you're under six feet. Ooh, feisty. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. Okay, first, what we rate ourselves, then I'll rate y'all. Me? What we rate yourself? Like on a one to ten? Yeah. In my head, I'm a fucking ten, but I don't know. Like that's just how I see myself. Like your head game? No, just like in general. Like, why would you see yourself less than a ten? You know what I mean? Everyone should be a ten in their own heads. 10, and if you rate me less, I'll deck you in the face right fucking now. You? Uh, like seven. Seven? Uh, eight. Huh? Eight. Eight? Now, ten. now, why do you call yourself an eight and they call themselves tens? Because they're bad bitches. Really? And how come you don't believe in that? Just realistically, yeah. I like both of these women. What do you mean bros built like a one-by-one one Lego piece? What even is a one-by-one one Lego piece? Yep, you're banned. Have a good night. He called. Not when a girl, <laughs> instead of saying that you're attractive, she be like, oh. Mad girls be trying to talk to you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Same thing with family court. And divorce law and all that stuff you know as soon as you enter it you see right away that the whole thing is stacked against us i mean my ex-wife was as as easy on me as you could be but nonetheless i ended up paying a lot more child support than she really deserved 
And to a friend who has to pay alimony for the rest of his life. He well, was that, married for 12 years. He still has to pay his ex-wife. He didn't even have kids with this woman. That's they have when there's kids involved. Right. Forget but about that's it. A, that's a very sexist law, by the way, because that law is implying that this woman is incapable of making it on her own. You shouldn't be financially obligated to take care of someone for the rest of their life just because you were married at one point in time. That Look, I respect a woman who has kids, and I do believe they deserve some payout, especially if they had to sacrifice their career to do it. But half of everything and then consistent payments for the rest of your life, even if you have another boyfriend, is crazy. If you want some ally money, you need to be willing to give up some ally coochie. Listen to Bill Maher's take on ally money. Is usually the man still who probably has the more money and is paying the woman. Yes. It's very anachronistic to how we have come to think about women as equal and strong and able to do everything we can do. But when it comes to this, it's like, oh, we got to take care of them. Well, I don't, <laughs> they're suddenly I, they're, they're, yeah, it's like, they're very dependent. I think it's a scam that's set up because the men in general are in control of the finances yeah. or make more money and they can extract more money from them that way. I don't see a lot of people way. turning it down. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why the system, I think, is set up the way it's set up. It's... It's dark, man. I mean, the only time it's happened the other way that I know of is Tom Arnold. Tom yes. Arnold oh, got away clean. Sure, yes, it does. It does <laughs> he, happen the other one, way. He's yeah. one for the males. Right. We got one on the board. There's Although they say 40% of women are breadwinners in their households, a whopping 97% of alimony is paid from man to woman. You don't find that suspicious? So you said in your pre-interview that sex is the single most important thing in the marriage. And if there is no sex, then why, why even get married, right? But Absolutely. then we have the vows, sickness, and in health. So how do you explain that? I explain that because let's keep it 100. Guys ain't complaining about women, that, their wives that are not having sex when they're unhealthy, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. We're talking about healthy sex. We're talking about, I don't feel like it tonight sex. We're talking about like, oh, we've been missing. We only did it once this month, sex. No, but that's what, that's what we're talking. That's really what we're talking okay. about. And so the idea of it is, is that you guys or women sometimes may think it's, uh, you know, an additive or added bonus. I'm telling you, it's a basic essential. And if you don't believe it, then outsource it. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, oh is that, is that my not fair? God. Okay, is so that not fair? It. Outsource well, it. Outsource it. Hey, hey. The reason why so many marriages are failing is because we have no sense of duty and we're telling people they only have to do their marital duties when they feel like it. And almost anything you only do when you feel like it is bound to fail. If you know you're supposed to take your wife or girlfriend on two dates a month and she made you upset, do it anyway. That's your duty. If you know you're supposed to sleep with your husband two times a week but you don't feel like it, do it anyway. That's your duty. Imagine a world where men only pay bills when they felt like it. To me, the only difference between a relationship and a friendship is sexual intimacy. So if you in a sexless marriage, it's bound to fail. Y'all basically roommates, but you gotta pay all the bills. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special. That's a help a brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.